Hello, and welcome to Like a Native Speaker. In this lesson, I want to talk about stress. There are two ways to learn about how to put stress on words in English. Way number one is memorize it for each and every of the thousands upon thousands of words in English. Number two is learn the rules so that you can apply them to new words when you see them. We're going to go with number two. Of course, you know that primary stress is related directly to the number of syllables in a word. So we're going to break down these stress rules depending on the number of syllables in the word. One syllable, that's easy. Every word must have a primary stress. If there's only one syllable, one stress. Hate love, shop, walk. If a word is two syllables, then the stress will almost always fall on the first sound. Bottle, easy, t-shirt, window. The exception for this is two-syllable verbs. If a verb is two syllables, it's almost always stressed on the second sound. Explore, protest, increase, record. The reason for this is that there's many words that are the same between a noun and a verb, so our only way to know the difference is the stress. People protested at the protest. The convict was convicted. He recorded over my record. When we get into three or more syllables, that's when things get a little bit more complicated and we have to talk about affixes. An affix is something you affix to the word. It's something you attach to the beginning or end of a word to change the meaning or to change the grammar form. We commonly separate them into two categories. Prefixes, things that go before, and suffixes, things that go after. First, let's talk about prefixes. Prefixes like pre, meaning before, are added to the beginning of words to change their meaning. Common examples are things like pre, re, con, inter. Prefixes almost never affect the stress of a word. They're just added to the beginning. The stress stays with the root word. Suffixes, on the other hand, are added to the end of a word to change usually the grammar. Sometimes it changes the meaning a little bit, but the main purpose of the suffix is to change the grammar form. The most common suffixes don't affect stress at all. ED endings, plural endings, ING, LY, which makes the adverb form, none of those affect the stress. A few other suffixes that don't affect the stress are the IS or ISM or IST suffixes. However, the suffixes that do affect stress can be divided into two categories. Category 1 has the stress immediately before the suffix. These suffixes with that rule are IC, economic, democratic, or TION slash SION, demonstration, tension. And the other category of suffixes, the list that you see here, have the stress two syllables before the ending. Democracy, electricity, psychology, passionate, photography, librarian, and Actually, I'm kind of a liar. There is a third category of suffix where the stress will always be on the suffix itself. Luckily, there's only a few of these. Employee, engineer, Japanese, unique. These suffixes will always have the stress on them. Let's go in depth with an, let's go in depth with an example. The word nation. Now, be careful that this is a root word by itself. This T-I-O-N is not a suffix. If we start adding suffixes and prefixes, we can start seeing that the stress changes according to the rules I told you. Nation, national, nationalism, nationalist, international. The stress remains on the same syllable. Now, if we add another suffix, you can see that the stress will change, nationalistic. But if we also add one of the non-changing suffixes, then it will stay the same, nationalistically. We can even add a prefix onto that, internationalistically, and the stress will remain the same according to the rules that I've told you. 
So that was a lot of information. So let's break it down and review what we've talked about. One syllable, one stress. Two syllables will have the stress on the first sound unless it's a verb. Then it will have stress on the second sound. If it's more than two syllables, we usually have to follow the rule of affixes, suffixes, and prefixes. And prefixes usually don't change the stress of the word. Suffixes, some of them change, and some of them don't. Using these rules, you can determine the stress of just about any word, even words you've never seen before. Of course, these are not complete stress rules, but this information will get you through probably 90% of all the words you need to know. Of course, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I will be taking a short vacation until the first Monday in January, so I hope you enjoy your holiday and new year, and I will see you next time.